In this video, I'm going to talk about sine function. So, sine function is part of trigonometric functions, and two of the other trigonometric functions are the cosine function and the tangent function. In the future, I will also make videos about these two functions. So, if you are not subscribed, you can do it now. Okay, now let's take a look at y equals to sine x. We can see that it's a trigonometric ratio expression, but how do we make it to a graph? In order to do that, we need to set up a table. Okay, now we just need to find what y value would be if x equals to 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. If we put all these values into the calculator, we'll get the following. And if you remember the result from the unit circle, sine would be positive in the first and second quadrant and negative in the third and fourth quadrant. So the graph looks like this. We can see that it's positive in the first and second quadrant, which is between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. We can also see that it's negative between 180 degrees to 360 degrees, which is the third and fourth quadrant. And since the y value will repeat itself every 360 degrees, so the whole complete graph will look like this. It's not a very good drawing, but you can see what I mean. Apart from that, the domain of the sine function is any real values. And the range is between negative 1 and 1, as you can see on the graph. And since sine negative x equals to negative sine x, it's an odd function. Okay, that's it for the sine function. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.